One of the first videos we put up probably four years ago now that got any any views of, at all was comparing and contrasting and kind of making a little bit of humor about the difference between round stakes and square stakes. So one of the first and fundamental uses of a concrete stake are for building layout. You may have not yet discovered, but many times a line stake will work instead of having to set up a batter board. So the immediate and obvious advantage is a square stake will hold the end of a tape measure. These stakes at that elevation are 56, 56 and a quarter inches apart. Let's see how far apart. Well, it, it, appear, it, it appears to be somewhere around, it, I guess it's about, oh, I think it's about 56 and a half. You get my point. A square stake holds a tape. Well, that video was a little silly, but it's a serious topic. I'm about as serious as I can be, being not that serious a guy, when I start talking about the comparative advantage of a square stake to a round stake. So I get a ton of questions from that video about, I'm sold on your square stakes. I would love to have square stakes, but I can't find them. Where can I buy a square stake? Well, I'm here to tell you, and I'm opening this box to show you that Hogan Company in Southern California makes square stakes. Now they are, as I understand it, the only domestic manufacturer of square stakes left. But they will ship them to you in a box just like this. Hogan Company. And that, my friends, is a thing of beauty. These are 24 inches. Yeah, which is a very good length. So if you're gonna order some concrete stakes, and really everybody who does anything needs a little collection of concrete stakes, you'll be amazed at how many times you're gonna find a use for a 16 or 24 or 30 or 36 inch nail that you can drive into the ground and fasten something in place. I mean, when you've got them, you're gonna find ways to use them. Now, if you're not in the business, if you're not pouring concrete, you don't need a lot of them. But even if you're only gonna get like a few, maybe you're gonna get 10, or maybe you're gonna get 20. Get some that are middle of the road. You know, I mean, 24 is a good length. 16 or 18 might be enough. But occasionally, even those of you who are just working around the house are gonna wish you had a 30 or a 36, and maybe a 16. So, you know, think about that and just understand that they may lean up against the wall of your shop for a year or two or three, but on a particular Saturday, when you have a particular project, you're gonna say, aha! it's time to go get one of those square stakes. Now, Hogan sent us these. They're good folks, and they wanted to help us prove to you that these are not really a white buffalo, that they do in fact exist, and they can be ordered in spite of the fact that a lot of you have had trouble finding them. You saw the box, you saw the way they're shipped, you saw what they look like when they have never yet encountered concrete or dirt. So if you need them, or if you think you're ever going to need them, and take it from me, you are, you can reach out to these people and let them hook you up. Thank you for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work.